Hey guys, this is going to be a quick uh, video tutorial showing how to create a captive portal for Evil Portal version 2.3. Um, this will show you how to capture some information, send it back to the server, and write it to a text file. So um, let's go ahead and log into our pineapple here. And let's go ahead and open up Evil Portal. I have some notifications. I'll go ahead and clear them. Um, okay, so now let's come over to Edit Portal. And here I have just the default standard portal. If I click on Live Preview, I can see that. So let's go ahead and make some modifications to it. So what we're going to want to do first is we are going to want to come down here. This is not really needed, so we can just go ahead and delete it. Really none of this is needed, but I'm too busy to delete everything. Um, so I'm not going to. So let's go ahead and create a form. And we are going to not set the action. We're just going to set the ID, form ID equals, um, what should we call it? I don't know. Let's call it something like text form. That works. And let's go ahead and end the form. Now, inside of the form, we are going to have an input field. Input, if I can spell it right, input type equals text. ID is going to be, say, user text, and we are going to go ahead and say placeholder equals enter some text, and we are going to make sure that it is filled out before it can do anything. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and say, we're going to create a button, so button type equals oh, button, and ID equals I don't know, button, that works. And um, let's go ahead and give it some text of send a text. All right, so there we go. We have our input, we have our button, we have our form. Uh, let's go ahead and put a paragraph explaining what needs to happen. So I'll say p, enter some text to continue. I think I spelled that right. Alright, and before we go any further, let's go ahead and save this. Alright, it's been saved. Now let's go ahead and um, look at it in the live preview. And we can see we have our text field, and we have our button, and we have our paragraph. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and come up here to the header, and let's go ahead and um, create a JavaScript function. Now the reason why we're going to do this is because uh, I haven't been able to figure out why, but whenever you submit a form, all of the parameters of the form, or all, I guess all of the values inside the form, do not get submitted for some reason. I, I don't know if that's the issue with the no doc splash firewall or what, but nothing will get submitted. So I'm kind of getting around that by using some JavaScript. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So script type equals text slash JavaScript. And before we do anything else, it's always a good idea to end that tag so we don't forget later. Alright, now let's go ahead and create a function. And we are going to call this function submit text to capture. I think that sounds pretty good. And um, open our parentheses and close them. I think I have one extra, or I guess brackets. Uh, now let's go ahead and indent a little bit more, and let's go ahead and uh, define a variable. Text is going to equal document dot get element by id and user text because we want to get the value of that text field down here. User text, and we're going to store it to the variable text. So whatever someone types in that box will be stored to the variable text. Alright, so now let's go ahead and do the part that's actually going to be submitting the form. Or I guess it's not going to be submitting anything, but um, it will act just like it. Location equals, and we're going to send it to our web server. So http colon slash slash 172 1642 slash capture dot php, which we're going to create in a minute. And we're going to say text equals text. And I'll explain what this does in a second. And reader 
equals off target. Not sure if I spelled that right. Yeah, I think I spelled that right. Well, I guess I'll find out in a minute. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're saying text equals the value of that text field. And then we're going to say window.location, pretty much redirect them over to um, this web page, capture.php, running on 172.16.42.1. And we're going to say um, the value of text equals the value that we declared for text. And then the redirect URL is going to equal auth target, which is a, a variable set by um, no dog splash. It's set by the web server, so we don't have to worry about that at all. It'll be whatever web page they're trying to visit. Um, so now that we did that, let's go ahead and save this really quickly. And we can see that it has been saved. Awesome. So let's come over to back down here to our button. And let's go ahead and say on click so that it'll run the JavaScript function. And what did we call it again? We called it submit text to capture. There we go. So now whenever they click that, it'll run that JavaScript function, which will submit the text. So let's go ahead and save the portal. And let's go ahead and take a look at it one more time. And we can see that it all looks correct. So now let's go ahead and pull up a terminal or putty or whatever you use to SSH. And we're going to SSH as root into 172.16.42.1 or whatever your pineapple is. We're going to accept that and type in our password. And now we're in our pineapple. So let's go ahead and cd over to slash www and let's do an ls and let's go ahead and nano capture.php. Now there's nothing in here, so let's go ahead and um, say that we're going to be writing in PHP. So we say, um, I guess, alligator mouth question mark PHP that says, hey, we're writing PHP. Now let's go ahead and declare a variable. Let's call it text equals dollar sign underscore git because it's um, git. I'll explain that in a minute if you guys don't know what that is. Um, and let's declare another variable called reader equals git. Oh. Okay, so um, if you guys don't know what git is, it's a variable through HTML, or sorry, um, HTTP, and it's whenever you have like a question mark and then something equals something like we did with our code over here, we have uh, question mark text equals text. So that that's a git. Um, and yeah, and then there's also post, which post doesn't show up in the URL, it, it'll show up inside the, PHP, or the uh, HTTP header. Um, so that's just your HTTP variables and we de uh, defined text and we defined reader so we're going to get those and we're going to set them to the value text in reader in PHP. So now that we did that let's go ahead and say um, we're going to write this to a file so file equals f open and then our file name stored.txt and then we're going to want to append it so we set the mode to a for append. And then we're going to go ahead and write it. So we're going to say, oh, whoops, I mean, f write. And we're going to write file. We're going to write, we're going to write to file. We're going to write the value of text. And then we want to create a new line. So we're going to have a new line character in there. And then we're going to go ahead and close that file. So f close and then our file. All right, that's that. And then the last thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to redirect them to wherever it is that they're going. So we're going to go ahead and say echo. And we're just going to use this um, some JavaScript to do this. And echo type, oh, script type equals text slash JavaScript. And did I spell that right? JavaScript, yes I did. And then we're going to go ahead and say, same thing we did before, window.location equals yeah, that's what I want. And then we're going to say it equals dollar sign, oh, whoops, uh, reader. There we go. And then we're just going to end our strings, um, script, and there we go. So that should do it. So now let's go ahead and save that. Let's head on over to 172, 16, 2050. This is where the captive portal runs at. 
And now if I go ahead and type in some text, here is some text, and I click send text, I get redirected back to here, which is exactly what we wanted because our off target was set to there. Now if I nano stored.text, we can see here is some text. So that is how you will be able to create a um, capsule portal that will collect some information um, in the latest version of Evil Portal. So I hope that helped you. You guys can modify this code however you want to to make whatever you need. Um, it's just a very basic demonstration, I guess. Um, so thank you for watching the video. Hope it helped. And uh, subscribe if you want.